Alright guys, I'm going to give you a how-to video on how to set up moobot.tv for your Twitch TV channel and very popular commands you guys should be using to help grow your stream. These are going to really help you grow your stream and take your stream to the next level. The first thing you're going to want to do is um, have a Twitch TV account. I made a test account for this video. I'm already logged in. And you're going to want to go to twitch.moobot.tv. Once you're on this page, it's going to ask you to connect with Twitch TV. You want to go ahead and be logged in to your Twitch account. See, I'm logged in on Testis 69. Good name, right? Go ahead, and I went to the, actually went to their Twitch site just to make sure I have the right link. Uh, you want to go ahead and click on Connect with Twitch, and it's going to ask, "Is this you?" You're going to say yes or no. You will accept, and then it's going to say, "You can uh, take a tour." of uh, this software which is actually really good for first time people who have never used it before this is basically a, like a moderator for your channel it's going to help you do giveaways help you post links remind people to follow you etc it's a free tool costs absolutely no money and you get on multiple uh, bots or um, moderator tools in your channel to use at a time so some people I've already made a video on Nightbot I want to make a video on Moobot if you guys are curious about this tool you can t take a guided tool where it basically tell you exactly what everything do you can do spam lists you can do your commands you can grant editors which are uh, other people so if you have a friend who wants to add commands or you have a trusted person you can add them as editors to your channel these are the features that they allow you can actually donate to them if you want if you're a baller and it has the command list on what everything does it tells you the event logs is going to track when people talk etc uh, this is the Twitch chat. So you can actually have your Twitch chat in Moobot. So you don't actually necessarily have to log into your dashboard here. You can always do um, it from this dashboard if you choose to. So that's part of the tour. You can navigate how to use the bot over here. You can tell your messages exactly what happens. I'll go ahead and uh, walk you through what you do. Once you get um, that installed, you're going to want to first join the bot to your channel. I think you have to... I think I have to type this in. Test this 69 go ahead and permit join he's oh he's joining my channel right now all right let's see if he's uh, joined the channel or not we can see if he's in my viewer list oh he's there so what well, your first thing I like to do is when you see him in your viewer list the easiest way to do it is to just make him a mod and by doing that you click on OP user so he'll be a moderator in your channel I just click it. you just gotta click it once and then wait for it to update this is uh, if you notice it will actually tell you already did it see he's been added as a moderator so you'll know and then twitch tv takes a little bit to uh, update so when their chat servers refresh he'll be moved to the moderator section okay so he's a moderator now and it actually told me the same thing over here so the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is for what I like to do is set up spam filters uh, spam filters are really important so if people were typing uh, caps, you know, really big letters, you definitely want to turn that on to enable that. Ban words are like profanity, you know, like the N word, you know, cuss words, etc. I, I keep all my streams PG, okay? PG, no PG-13, so I'm keeping that on. It has uh, Twitch settings, which I think if you click here, it will tell you the uh, automatically uh, inappropriate for users, etc. You can set all that up if you want. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. And then too many emotes. Dude, I love emotes. I'll never turn that off. Also, you can modify any of these settings, guys, by clicking on the settings keys. So, no banned words. You can actually say uh, no banned words. It will say don't use banned words. It will give you 10 second uh, timeout, 600 second timeout. You can make it longer if you want them to be timed out longer, 900 seconds, you know, so they're not talking. They have advanced settings, maximum banned words in a message. You can say I don't want more than two or one, you know, whatever floats your boat. Again, same thing with the caps. You can set how many caps they're allowed to use. So, after like 10 caps, 2 caps, you can set how long they're timed out for in these options here. And then once that's set, you're done. So then you have your spam filters. You can blacklist phrases. So there's certain words you don't want people typing. For instance, if you're a girl and you don't want someone saying like, you know, I don't know, tits or something. So tits can be a blacklisted word. So if someone types tips, tits, it will be grayed out, for example. And then let's say, you know, for, for me, I don't like people calling me, uh, I don't know fuckhead <laughs> so I don't like being called that so people will definitely not say that or will be start out when they type it in chat so you can create a whole bunch of spamless words if you have certain words you don't like you can set that up here as blacklisted phrase that's not allowed to talk you only get nine for free and then if you donate 
to um, a mod bot, you can unlock more words. So just as a warning, it is a free piece of software, but you're gonna have to donate to unlock everything. So that's the and the general settings, uh, spam filters. You can set a special message like you know, please don't do that, or you know, a rule here if you want a generic message. I don't really think you need it. The next one is you can have your regulars. These are regular people who can do like special commands if you please. Like they can uh, allow giveaways or you know access your Twitter, Facebook links, stuff like that. You can set regulars to access certain commands there. And then whitelisted links. So let's say like you know, for instance, uh, I I always have people go to the certain game that I'm playing. So I don't know. I'll allow like people can post. Oh, you gotta make sure to go to Google.com. So if someone types Google.com. Or certain again whitelisted links, they'll be able to post them, not get timed out by the mod bot. So if you have certain links that you want someone to click on or link to, you can add them here in your whitelist. And again, you only get ten, and then you have to unlock the program, which costs money to get it. If you unlock it, it's like, oh, you want to unlock it for this many points? No, you have to pay for the points, I believe, to contribute. You start with a uh, 500 points, so you can unlock a few things, and then you have to either contribute to get more. And then the commands are what's really important. You have your topic command. You can go and create more commands. Again, you have to, you only get eight, and they unlock it for points, which I think is kind of ingenious. One thing I think you guys should uh, create is always a command to, to follow. You know, if you want to get if you want to have people follow you. Why can't I create this? Yeah, it's this one topic. You can set topics displays. You can have a repeat certain times. Got a quad 2K. Check out my YouTube, you know, slash quad 2K. So let's say when people type the command quad 2K, that will come up. And I can have it for moderators only. You can set your regulars or your editors to be able to type it, or everyone. So you'll click save. And now I have exclamation point quad 2K. So when someone types this command, it will put check out my YouTube page, and you can set it to whatever you want it to be. I highly recommend for uh, commands, even if you only get a few basic commands, I recommend you having one for like your your Twitter. You do have want to have a Twitter command. Really important, which I'm going to share with you guys as well. That I think this is one of the most important things you can do as Twitter. You want to have people retweet your streams. You want to have people follow you. You want to have people you know favorite your tweets. So one thing I like to do is on this website, uh, share link generator. I created a, a Twitter link, so you know Quad TK is streaming. Check him out, and then at YouTube, and then do whatever your hashtags you want, yada yada, to get your Twitter information going. Make sure you have this to be either like your YouTube or, or your Twitch TV, whatever streaming revenue you're using. You want that to be your link, and you can get that by share link generators. I'll put this in the video, guys. Don't worry, it will, it will be in the video. All these links will be in the video, and you want to go ahead and create a create link, and this is the URL it gives. So now I have the URL. I'm going to go ahead and actually put it in the display text, right? And then I'm going to even make this even easier. Go ahead and you can uh, insert data if you want your text, have it from routers, and then save it. So this is a really big command. So watch this. It's really cool. So when someone's, uh, you have a moderator or a person type your Twitter, they'll click on, okay, this person has a tweet. You can have it be like, you know, help me grow, help me expand. When you click on your Twitter, this will load the person if they're logged into Twitter, it will load their Twitter and they'll tweet whatever message you have set up for them. So like I'm saying, I'm streaming, come check it out. I'm logged into my Twitter. They're able to retweet your stream, share it through social media. This is hugely important, especially if you're new to streaming or even a very you know huge streamer. You want to get let people know on Twitter world that I'm streaming. Hey, I'm live. I'm here. Come check me out. So make sure to tweet that. I'm not going to tweet out that I'm uh, on YouTube because people already know. But when you're streaming or doing stuff, always let people know. You know, I'd set up one for your Twitter. You want to set one up for like a Facebook link. You want to set up, you know, one for whatever. So you definitely want to set it up for all your social media to have each of your commands to be social media, guys. Very important. Social media commands is what you want. You want to have your Twitter. You want to have your Facebook. You want to have your YouTube. You want to have your Pinecrest. You want to have your SoundCloud. You know, get as much exposure as possible. Get it flowing, and this is a great tool to do that. So once you have um, all your different commands set up, you can then enable like if you want to have your regulars a uh, command. You can say like I don't know, I have a uh, my boy Summit's definitely a regular on my channel for sure. Love that kid. So I want to have um, he's able to actually do my commands. So you can actually edit your commands, and you can have it for uh, 
moderators to do as well. Make him a moderator, then he can type these commands as well, so you don't have to do them yourself. So definitely give uh, different moderators access to your channels to run your commands so you're not running your commands by yourself. One thing I like about this as well is you can actually modify these commands to run at a certain time. So I definitely set like a repeat, like you don't want to be too spammy, but maybe like every like 20 minutes or so in your chat to have the bot let people know that, like, you know, please retweet me out, you know, please, please follow this stream, you know, please uh, follow me on Facebook. So all your different social com uh, commands to your social media, you're going to want to have re relayed and, and set in your chat to keep your chat rolling to get more people to watch you, more people to come to your channel. So I think that's really important. And this editor command again, you want to add um, a new username. I, Summit wants to be my editor, of course. So this kid can edit my modbot channel. He can add commands. He can modify commands. He can set up stuff for me. So I'm entrusting him to help me make this better. So if you have a friend who wants to help you out, you can add them as an editor, and they get full access to this dashboard, and they can help you monitor and set everything too. So don't forget, you can allow your friends to use this. And then you have your uh, miscellaneous, and then it has features as well. You have a widget that you can use to run commercials, which I don't have. Right now you have join priority, you can set to join people, and you have custom username if you want. I think this costs money, I believe. So they have a whole bunch of different tools you can use. You can, automate, you can do uh, raffles are really important, so you want to go ahead and turn that on. Raffles are for giveaways. People love to do giveaways. So I definitely turned on the raffle. So you can contribute points which costs money to get more stuff I was talking about if you want to get more tools etc but this has a, a raffle the raffle is the giveaway and you can do it by user list which will draw a user list of people and it'll give it to a random person or you can do a raffle chat to do it you click on open and the people will type dash raffle to enter so when you have your live streaming people will type slash raffle in chat and they'll be entered into the contest and you just leave it open for like a minute or two. You'll you'll hype up what you're giving away. I'd recommend even tweeting about it. Like I'm giving away this, this, or this, and letting people in Twitter know, letting people on your Facebook know, Pinecrest, you know, whatever your Instagram. Just letting social media know before a giveaway is always a good idea. And when pe you're done, you'll click on draw. And I'm not even following myself. What a guy. Test this one. You can announce the winner in, in chat, or you can send them a private message to let them know they've won. So this is a great tool. It's kind of an all-in-one. You want to set it up, and it will be in your chat at all times. If you don't see it in there, make sure it joins, and you can always remove it. And you can run multiple. You can run Modbot with Nightbot and other bot programs. I think this one has a really good raffle program, and it's again, it's a free tool. Like I said, you start with 500 points. You can get 10 commands. You can enable a lot of cool stuff for free. And then when you you want to start doing more things, that's when you have to purchase additional points. So it does have, you know, I think it's a great program. If you use it a lot, I would recommend, you know, donate to the, the person who made the program. They spent their hard-earned time and money, you know, setting this up so you can be a contributor. You know, send them $5 or something like that. Like the streamer sent him 50 because he probably uses it a bunch. So we're done to raffle. You can go ahead and close and reopen. So this is how people are doing giveaways by raffle. Or you can pick a random username, modify your chat, and you have your set commands. This is a great tool. So you want to go ahead and use Modbot on your Twitch TV channel if you're deciding to stream at Twitch and have a great time. Use your, use your commands. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave me a message on my YouTube videos. I'm going to try to be more uh, responsive on those videos and get back to you. If, as always, if you guys like this video, please thumbs up it. If you liked it, thumbs down it if you didn't. I really don't care as long as you watch it. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys, and you guys have a great night. Bye.